on, Jay. Hey, okay. Emma, you lost your bow. <laughs> for the show. I Look at me, a diva. No, no I'm not the star. I'm the oh. star of the okay, show. I think, I think, um. Mocha needs a rest, I bet. Yeah, Mocha needs a Mocha. Little. I want to say it was awesome to meet you. You are adorable, little sweetie. Thank you. She seems to be very sweet on you, so I think you two are a perfect match made in heaven between oh kitty cat baby. and owner. <laughs> oh, my baby. Your little boy. Say yes. Hedgehog, everybody's your fan. Sonic! Me, 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 me. This is Stella the Diva with my good friend Emma the Nice. Oh, and I don't know how you got the nickname Nice, cause you sure aren't nice. Ha ha ha. That was kind of a joke, not really, but kind of. Sorry, Emma. Just. What? Okay. Okay, though. Mhm. Mm yep. We okay, can't hear just, you. Just, it's just, we are just, filming at an outdoor just, location okay. and it's windy. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. the way. Uh huh. Uh huh. We I like, like it. it. Uh, -huh, uh huh. Uh huh. Shout out to Casey and the Sunshine Band for creating that wonderful song that everybody loves. Agreed. Yeah. Word. So I've called you here today for the Stone Emma show, Stella. To, for you to take a Excuse test. me, uh, forgive me, but I must interrupt for just a moment. Oh, okay, yes, yes, yes. You didn't make me come here or anything like that. So, don't act like you've been bossing me around, Emma. I am still Stella the Diva, queen of the Stella the Diva's artisanal water empire with branches and tentacles everywhere. Well, you still have no idea what we're doing because I never told you. Well, I don't know that we're doing anything that you're suggesting. Well, today we're going to be taking a Harry Potter quiz. Well, you're going to be taking a Harry Potter quiz, Stella. Who? A Harry Potter quiz. We're going to see what Harry Potter house you're in, what Hogwarts house you're in. It's, what? It's Hogwarts house? Harry, who is I, is Harry Potter? So uh, who is Harry Potter? Oh my gosh! I'm so fun right now. What? We have Harry Potter books in our house, Estella. I don't get how you how you don't know. I rarely read books because I'm a cat, so I'm very much into social media and video entertainment. Yeah, but but it's, there are films of it of Harry Potter, like they're films of it. And are those films, you by films do you mean movies? Yes, movies. And are they long movies? Yes. Okay, well then that's probably one of the reasons I haven't heard of them. Okay. I can't really do any movie longer than an hour and 40 minutes. Because the, by that point I'm pretty much ready to nap. Because I'm a cat. Okay, yeah, I get it. Uh -huh. But we're still going to have you take this quiz, and I just need you to answer everything truthfully, and I'll tell you at the end what house you get and whether well, it's good or not. Hold on. Now just explain to me. Tell me, what what is Harry Potter about? It is about a boy. And well, let me guess, his name is Harry Potter. Y yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Still the diva, muy inteligente. Okay. So, Voldemort... Kills his parents with Avada Kedavra. So, so far, and somehow. What's in Avada Kedavra? Avada Kedavra. That's a killing curse, boy. Ex okay. What? <laughs> okay. Do they talk that way in the book? No. So Voldemort kills Harry's parents. That's not very nice. And, this doesn't sound like a uh, and, uh, happy, uplifting story. And um. Or a family comedy. And so then Harry goes to live with his aunt and uncle, and they're very mean, and he also goes to live really? with Really? And what is their names? Um, Petunia and Vernon. 
Petunia and Vernon. When and did this take place? Oh my gosh, I'm so... Is this so like in the future? No. Or in the past? In the past. Well, how far in the past? Any idea? 19... I think like... Somewhere in 1980 he was born. Sometime 1980? So, I thought it was... Doesn't, isn't it all like... 19... 19-something, but it's in the 80s. I thought Harry Potter... Born. Didn't, wasn't that like during the time of like knights and all of that? No. In like the 1600s? No. Really? Oh my gosh. I grew up in the, the... My alter ego grew up in the 1980s, so that's interesting. I didn't and, know about Harry Potter in the 1980s, so, did you? Oh my gosh, okay. Well, of course not. We weren't born, Emma. Duh. Oh Just my gosh, I'm so done right now. Okay, sorry. Now, I deviated the will, will you interrupt me? Are you going to interrupt me again when I'm trying to tell Do you? Do you want me to be honest with you, Emma? As I, friends, as BFFs? I, I know the honest thing is going to be rude. <laughs> is gonna well, be. it's not going to be rude, but the answer will be yes. Okay, so he goes to live with his parents. He finds out he's a wizard. Hagrid's like, oh, yo, Harry, you're one wizard. And then he goes off and he meets Ron and Hermione and then... And then he uh, he goes to wizarding school and he uh, tries to whoa uh, whoa whoa and so whoa, then whoa. he finds Voldemort. Wizarding and... school is this something that we can go to? Because if it is, I missed out. <laughs> no, I wish it was, but well, but like is... but like it's... so they had wizarding in the nineteen eighties, but they don't. Oh know? my gosh! Okay, when he was eleven, he went, which would have been out of the nineteen eighties. So he was born. You know. So that would have been in the nineteen like nineties. That come after the 1980s. Oh my gosh, I'm so done right now. So it was 1990 something, I'm pretty sure, when he went to when he went to Hogwarts, and so he was 11, and so yeah, and he tries to go, and he goes, and he finds Voldemort, and he who must not be named. And, and what does that, this hog with warts have to do with the story? That's the school name, oh Stella. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe any students would go there if it was named Hogwarts. Okay, would you, say, I, I really sorry. just... Sorry, I'm, really... I'm zipping my cat mouth because we don't have lips, so I can't zip my lips. But I will do the equivalent of zipping my lips by zipping okay, now my just cat zip, mouth. Okay, now just, just zip them, okay. They're zipped sure? artisanally. Okay, and he goes and he try and he finds who he, who he who must not be named which A.K. Voldemort, and so then he you know he does that, and then he he goes back to um I'm raising, to I'm what, raising my hand. What what, what 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 what? I don't remember my question. Go on. <laughs> okay, okay, and so then he goes back to his aunt and also his house. Um, what? You're not enunciating your words. I can't understand And then he goes you. back to his aunt and uncle's house, and you then... You don't have to yell. Sorry, I'm zipping my cat mouth. I'm just going to tell you the first... That was the first movie. Oh which... my god, that was all in the first movie, and how many movies are there? There are... Oh my gosh, um... It's 28. There are... 432 Harry Potter. Seven or eight? No way. I think. No way. If I was a betting man, I would say five. About eight books, but the last book isn't technically like super duper like... Booky? It's not like a... Book? Sorry. You said you were were zipping your cat I thought you were asking for my thoughts. And... Yeah, but... We, we can talk about that later. Okay, all you really need to know is that first part. And so, what happens is he gets sorted into a house. So, um, yeah, and so that's what we're doing today. We're going to sort you into a house. Well, I'm house. glad he had a house. That's a good way to grow up. Oh, my gosh. What's well, better than having no house? So, okay, now we're just going to sort you into a Hogwarts house. Are you ready? And you have to answer everything truthfully. Gosh, like I wouldn't. Ever, ever fib on a quiz. What, what would you want to be remembered as? Bold, wise, good, or great? Great! 
Excuse me. Okay. What would you do? What What would you not want to be remembered as? Ignorant, selfish, cowardly, or ordinary? Ignorant. If you were to choose a potion, which would you choose? A wisdom potion, a power potion, a love potion, or a glory potion? Okay, before you pick this, I need to tell you something about the love potion. If you had, um, love, if you had children while you were under a love potion, your child would not be able to love. Oh, well, that's kind of sucky. So. Sorry. Yeah, I just, I just wanted to tell you, Thank like, you. that. So. I appreciate you filling that in, filling me in. Are there any little crazy rules like that about any of the other ones? I don't know, because I haven't read that much of the book. I just know that the love potion, that that, that would happen. So. so, read me my choices again. A wisdom potion, a power potion, a love potion, a glory potion. Glory, baby! Still <laughs> of the Divas artisanal glory! That's what I'm choosing. Yeah! Okay. What would you want people to remember you? Things of your... Oh, wait. How would you want people to remember you? Think, think of your achievements. Opinion only matters when I'm alive. Miss you and smile. Ask for more stories of your adventures. Oh, my gosh. You're going to have to read that all again. I wasn't focused. Think, for, uh, think of your achievements. Opinion only matters when I'm alive. Miss you I need and the smile. question. I told you the question. I know, and I asked you to repeat it because How I wasn't focused. How would you w want people to remember you? Oh, okay. Think of your achievements. Opinion only matters when I'm alive. Miss you and smile. Ask for more stories of, of your adventures. Ask for more stories of Stella the Diva's adventures. Because we've had a bunch of them. What scent brings you comfort? See, parchment, which is like... Do you know what parchment is? Yes. Okay. It's, a t it's old school paper. Gr crackling log fire or home. What scent would bring you comfort? Uh, kitty litter isn't one of the choices? No, kitty litter is not one it of really the choices. It should be a choice for me. Is there any way we can incorporate that into no. the quiz? No, so there I can isn't. Because it? It. that so comforts me. Good kitty litter okay. is like C, one of the best okay. things ever. Sea parchment, crackling log I'm fire. I'm thinking crackling log fire. Okay. Which I might create right in front of us with Stella Kinesis. Okay. You are given four boxes, but only allowed to open one. The first is an ordinate golden box, which says, Unbearable temptations lie within. The second is a black box with a room you know to be the mark of Merlin. The third is a tor tortoise shell box in which a small animal seems to be squeaking inside. The fourth is a pewter box that reads, I can, I only open for the worthy. Which box do you Wait, what select? was number two again? Number two, let me see. The second is a black box with a rune you know to be the mark of Merlin. What was the first one? Do you need me to just repeat it all over I again? want you to read the first one. The first is an ordinate golden box which says unbearable temptations lie within. Yes! That's my choice. Okay. That's got to be an exciting one. Which instrument do you find most pleasant? Violin, piano, drums, or trumpet? Drums. Always the drums. You find yourself in a room with four goblets before you, each containing a different potion. Which one would you drink? The purple one that smells of plums and chocolate. The golden, Blech. the golden potion which reflects the sunspots across the room. The silvery, glittery potion that appears to consist of crushed diamonds. The inky black one that makes all visions swim before you. Oh my goodness. I'm taking odd visions for 500, Alex. <laughs> oh my gosh. Du, 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 you are du. We love our Jeopardy. You are in a whimsical garden. Which object attracts you attract attracts your attention? A silver the silver trees with golden apples, the wizard statue with the strange twinkling eye, the luminous pool that seems to have something lurking in its depths, red to to toadstools which appear to be talking to each other. Red toadstools, holy cow, that sounds amazing. 
I've always wanted to communicate with nature. Hogwarts is burning down. Oh no, that's a and bummer. And there are three important things you have to you must save, but in different locations. There are student there are student records, a dragon box cure, and a lo book of Merlin. And in which order do you save the items? Books, records, cure, cure books, records, book, cure records, records, cure books, cure records, books, records, book, cure. Do you need me to repeat that again? Oh, my lord. These questions, the <laughs> answers are so long. They're like three paragraphs long. Do you, By the time you get done telling me what the first answer is, I forget the question. <laughs> Do you want me to, um, to... No, I'm getting a nervous feeling about the shaking behind us. Do you want me to reread it for you? Yes, question? please. Hogwarts is burning down. Oh, what a pity. And three are... And there are three important things you must save, but are but are different locations. There's student records, a dragon pox cure, and a book of Merlin. Which order do you save the items? Just tell me, and then I'll see if it's one of the answers. Just tell me what what order. Well, I'm thinking. Okay, student records. What was the other books? Books and um, a dragon pox cure. Tell me, what do you know about dragon pox? I don't know. Well, I mean, how is it like killing lots of people? Are lots of people infected? I don't know. Is it's, it really bad? Like, I don't know. I haven't pro I haven't gotten to the point well, where they talk about that. Well, it's just not that big a priority if, I mean, and I look at the question this way. If I have three things to save and I can save all three, then I'm just going to save all three and I will take the order in which it's most efficient to get them in and out. Okay. I realize that's not an answer, but... Okay, you, but you still have to answer it. You... What a joke! Sorry. My diva came out for just a moment. Okay, now just... What, okay. what order would you... I'm, I'm trying to think. Get off my back, Emma. Gee whiz. You want me to take this seriously? She's thinking, guys. She re what do you know about the Book of Merlin? No, I haven't gotten to any books where uh, the books okay, that book cure records. Book again, cure. book cure and then records. That is my final choice, Alex. Okay, which would you most, which would you most want to be? Envied, trusted, liked, praised, imitated, or feared? Imitated <laughs> and feared. You can only pick one, and I oh, pressed imitated no, okay. because that's what. That's fine. What do you find most hard to cope with? Hunger. You, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I couldn't pass that up. What do you find most hard to cope with? Hunger, cold, boredom, loneliness, being ignored. Hunger. I'm a cat. I sleep 18 hours a day, so being bored is not an issue. Which are you most looking forward to? To uh, at Hogwarts, apparition slash dis disparation, castle secrets, learning every era of magic, area of magic, magical creatures, brew flying, hexes and drinkses, and transfiguration. You know, I'm not going to Hogwarts, so I don't really know. But if you, but so if good. you, were. well, I wouldn't be. I can tell you. Oh, never mind. <laughs> So okay, let me let me think about this list for just a second. We have apparition, disapparition, castle secrets, learning every area of magic so I could be like Stella the Diva's artisanal magic better than like David Blaine or something like that. Okay. Okay. So, okay magical creatures. So that's always interesting. Broom flying. Yeah. Why? Hexes and jinxes is very interesting, and then there's transfiguration, but you know what? I'm picking learning every area of magic. It's magic. Do, do, do. Which powder do you wish 
Which power do you wish you had? Invisibility, change appearance, talk to animals, read minds, change the past, or super strength? My preference would be flaming farts, because that would be <laughs> oh my awesome. God. Oh my I'm God. so sorry, but that's, that was my first thought. So, okay, let me, let me check this list. Let me check this list and think about this a minute. Okay, what power do I wish I had? Let's see, invisible, that would be interesting. Change of parents could be, but then again, it could be creepy. Talk to animals. Well, I'm a cat. I can already do that. Read minds. Change the past. Super string. I am going to choose reading minds because I can do that anyway with Stella Kinesis. Get it for $1,995 on special for Father's Day. Which animals are your most... Which animals are you most eager to learn about? Centaurs... Which, you know what a centaur is, right? Correct. Vampire, vampires. No, that's a human. Trolls, ghosts. Oh my gosh, I'm on the internet goblins, enough. I don't need trolls. Werewolves, or mer people. Do you know what a mer person is? Well, that'd be like a mermaid or a merman, yeah. I assume. Yeah. I mean, I'm not el stupido. Centaurs, but I'm telling you. Centaurs are. Sucks. That would be really interesting. You notice one of your classmates has cheated. It's too cheat, bad they cheat. went extinct You're, in 1987. You notice one of your classmates has a cheat sheet and using it during the test. After the test, pro Professor Flitwick confronts you and asks you if you, if your friend cheated. How do you respond? Comfort your classmate and tell them to tell me, tell Flitwick. <laughs> so, as you were saying, Emma? Okay, so, yeah. Confront your classmate and tell them, and tell, and tell, what? Confront your classmate and, um, and tell them to t tell Flitwick. If they don't, you will. Tell Flitwick and be rewarded ho with house points. Lions say you don't know, you would have told before the test. What? Or you would have told before the test. None of that made any sense. I'm going to say I don't know. I'm not selling out my friend to that Flitwick character. He sounds a little bit shady. Okay. Is Flitwick? he shady? No. He sounds not, like He's it. not shady at all. Oh, it's a she? No, he. I said he's not shady. Uh, okay, as long as she's not shady. <laughs> you, might have, you meet a four-way fork in the road. Which path do you, do you choose? I prefer cobbled, my forks with four the times. The cobbled ancient buildings path, the twisted woodsy path, the lantern lit alley, the wide sunny grass path. The wide sunny grass path, of course. I'm a cat. I'm not going down some scary dark wooded path by myself. That's for outdoor cats. A muggle confronts you, which is somebody who can't, who doesn't know magic. That's what a muggle is. Like they, and they I'm can't supposed to be scared of somebody that doesn't know magic. A muggle confronts you and says they don't know, and know you are a wizard. You respond with, and muggles aren't supposed to know you are a wizard unless you're like you were born from muggles, and hey. you're like a wizard. Okay. A gray, a green and walking away bluffing. Did you used to be a kid show called Muggle Rock? Tell Fraggle Rock. By telling bad. them you are worried about their mental health. Ask him. Ask. Asking why they think so, offering them a jinx sample. A what? A jinx sample. What's that? It's like it's it's one of this. It's a spell, and again, they're not supposed to know you're a wizard. Well, they're probably just guessing that I'm a wizard. No, just they say that. they know you are. Well, a I understand that, but it's a trick. It doesn't mean they know. They're just saying that. Okay, so what? What's your? Why don't let me let me think about you this because these you know these are really pressure packed questions, Emma. <laughs> oh my gosh. Agreeing and walk away bluffing. Where well, now they know you're a wizard. And no, they don't. Yes, they do. No, now. because I was insulted and I walked away. I didn't say I was a wizard. You just said that you were grieved. 
that you were a wizard. Yes, but the way I read that answer is like it's sarcastic. Yeah, I'm a wizard, and then you turn around and walk away. No, it wasn't meant to be sarcastic. Well, that's the way I took it. Okay, whatever. And that's what it meant. You were rocking through the Forbidden Forest at Was the I night. rolling too? Stop! Oh my gosh! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're walking through the forbidden forest at night when you hear a twig snap. What do you do? Draw a wand and find the source of the noise. Withdraw into the shadows. Proceed with caution and conceal the wand. And conceal your wand. Draw wand and stand your ground. So what's the big deal with my wand? There all these have something to do with my wand. Because you're in the forbidden forest. First of all, why would I be in the forbidden forest? Eh. Nice. Eh. Oh my goodness. I don't know. You're looking for something. I, don't know. I am going to proceed with caution and keep my wand concealed at this point in time while reserving the right to later pull out my wand and do some wand damage on any sad bad dudes in the Forbidden Forest. <laughs> While regretting that I ever came into the Forbidden Forest at night by myself, which was not a good idea. Okay. okay. I'm going to have to restart, th rethink many of my decisions. You must cross a bridge, but there is a ferocious troll blocking the way. He won't go down without a fight. You volunteer to fight, or try to confuse him, or suggest all three fight, or draw lots. Well, I'm probably going to leave a comment in response to his stupid internet comment <laughs> being a troll, <laughs> and I will defeat his stupid logic, and then I will win, and okay. I will take the glory. Remember from that question earlier, I choose glory. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh. I'm going to try to confuse him because he's a troll and they're usually easily confused. Quite that. Let me try and actually click this and so my phone will work. Maybe possibly that could happen in the future. That would be wonderful. And your worst nightmare you would dream of being at a very high height with no rails to stop you from falling. Oh, that's not good. That Your would be my nightmare. Your friends and family not remembering who you are. Having a high, silly voice. Standing behind a door, peering through the keyhole, and not being able to go inside to help. Whoa, friends and family not remembering who I am. Although I don't think anything could make that possible, because I am still a diva. While we're waiting for the next question, I just want you to know that I branched out into Stella the Diva's artisanal uh, free trade coffee products. And mm. we have some um, an amazing breakfast blend, a medium uh, Arabica bean. Mm. So just remember that when you're going to your local coffee, okay, coffee cool. shops the next time. Great. Moon or stars? <laughs> Moon or stars? <clears throat> what? That's the whole question. Moon or stars? <clears throat> well, the moon's pretty awesome, but I'm pro I would probably take stars because there's so many more uh, combinations to look at. You're at a fork in the road at night. You choose the path that goes next to the river or goes through the forest. Next to the river. Dusk or dawn? Dawn. <laughs> that was a good movie from Dusk to Dawn. Robert Rodriguez. Black or white? <clears throat> really? Yeah, black or white. Black! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! I'll bring some of those stars with me from that other question. Left or right? Right. Neither. <laughs> I'm right pod. Heads or tails? Heads, of course. 
Oh, it's calculating the results. Let's see what house you're in. No, and it is right on time. Okay, it's calculating the results. It's calculating. You're in Ravenclaw. I am in Ravenclaw. You predicted I would be in Slithery Snake and Saurus. I think is what you predicted. Congratulations. Ravenclaw. Okay, okay are you reading me results? Yes. All right. Congratulations. You have been sorted into Ravenclaw, the house of wisdom and creativity. Yes. You have what the intelligence people value your acceptance and originality. Yes. House color, blue and bronze. House ghost, the gray lady. House head. <laughs> oh, my gosh. House head? The, like the head of the house. Oh, like the okay. Person. Professor Flitwick, this oh. one you said was <laughs> oh, that's payback. Because I'm good to my That's payback. <laughs> oh, that, how did that work out that way? You, you set this up to come out that way, didn't you? No. Yes. House founder, Rowan Ravenclaw, and your house animal is an eagle. Oh, an eagle. Just like America. The bald eagle. Your common room is located in Ravenclaw Tower. Have a magical year. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm in Hufflepuff. I, I'm not going to Hogwarts, but if I did, I would be in the Ravensclaw house. Is that what you call Ravenclaw. it? Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw. Just one raven. Not ravens. Uh, raven. I don't know. Many ra people are still the Ravenclaw. Many people. Many people think that um, the Ravenclaw, their house animal, is a raven, but it's an eagle. Exactly. Because because you know it, it has raven in the name. So. Because freedom. Okay. Eagles. Okay then. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Oh my goodness, that actually was pretty amazing. I had a good time with that. That was pretty cool, and. I'm in Ravenclaw. Stella the Divas Artisanal Ravenclaw coming soon to an online retailer near you. Also, just 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 one second, just giving a shout out to my to my Pinterest account. Just if you want to oh. follow. My goodness. Okay, people. <laughs> Thank you so much for attending this edition of the Stella and Emma show. We had an awesome time. We had a couple set disasters, but we are filming on location outdoors in an outdoor set, and there is a very gusty wind this evening. We could not control that, so we hope it did not diminish your ability to enjoy our program. Thank you so much, America and the world, for watching today and tomorrow and years in the future. Please visit and purchase Stella the Diva's artisanal line of products. And Emma, do you have any final words? Good, glad. Uh, you, there, there, there was. Um, okay, oh, you well, did have something. Well, Go just, ahead. Just bye, guys, and um, read Harry Potter if you haven't. It, it's really good. Or watch the movies. I mean, it's your preference. But I mean, like I said, I I say do the books because. They're good. And I say Ravenclaw. Stella the Diva from the Stella and Emma Show. We would like everybody to like, comment, and subscribe to the Stella and Emma Show channel. Thank you. Bye. Shout outs and love.